Game Ranks presents Skyrim game concepts that make no sense. Look, we love Skyrim, we've all been talking about it for years, but sometimes we like to poke a little bit of fun at the aspects of the game that just don't make any sense. So activate your sense of humor sensors and let's get started with number 10. The concept of inventory weight and encumbrance is really funny in Skyrim, especially because you can eat all the food in your inventory and technically lose weight. I don't understand how that works. Does the Dragonborn burn all of that off? Is he like Kim Jong-un or something where he just never needs to poop? It's funny though, like pooping has to be a thing because there are toilets in Skyrim, but then again, the gray beards up in their sanctuary, they don't have any toilets. I, maybe I'm looking into this way too much. I, I really should preface that because every single point is probably looking into something way too much. So anyway, let's get on to number nine. The guards and law enforcement in Skyrim, or for that matter, every Elder Scrolls game, pretty much suck and are totally stupid. Especially when you're just trying to do the right thing. You're trying to save a small village from vampires, or you're trying to save a city from a dragon, or some friendly campers from some raiders. And if you're swinging your sword, or swinging your fists, or shooting your spells, and you hit a civilian, you are automatically the worst person in the world. Pay a fine. You're under arrest, you son of a bitch. Even though you were really just trying to do the right thing. Come on, cut us some slack if we punch an old lady or two while we're trying to slay a dragon. We are the dragon. Dragonborn, and sometimes there's some collateral damage. Deal with it. And God forbid you hit that chicken, if you know what I'm talking about. Or you're fighting two dragons at once and a guard runs up to you and calls you a thief because you stole a cup an hour ago. A little piece of shit cup that nobody has used ever. Thanks a lot, Mr. White Run Guard Man. Can I go back to saving Tamriel now? You can cast a few spells. Am I supposed to be impressed? <laughs> At number 8, we have those punk-ass kids with their repetitious NPC dialogue. You can walk into a town wearing maxed-out Daedric armor with a flaming greatsword and, you know, fully leveled-up skills. And the first kid that sees you will say that classic line that you hear so much. I thought adventurers were supposed to look tough. Shut up, kid. I could end you. Stop talking shit. I just saved your homeland from certain doom. Maybe you could show some respect and compliment my sweet armor. At number 7 we have Dragon's Reach. Now why the hell is Dragon's Reach a place built for capturing a dragon made mostly of wood? Because dragons breathe fire, you think that would be a bad idea. I mean, alright, look, if you want to get technical, maybe the wood was treated to resist fire? If you really want to try and be, um, actually, about it. And this is a popular thing to make fun of in the Skyrim games. But also, if you think about it, you know, the dragon capturing area is made primarily of stone on the building, so maybe it was a good idea. Maybe we should give them a little more credit. Maybe it's just super strong magical video game wood. Actually, we'll get into super strong magical video game wood later in this video. At number six, here's a weird pet peeve and something that doesn't make any sense when you find a lit torch in a chest underwater. Hey, if we're underwater, how can there be a- What is that all about? Are you s- What? That, that doesn't even- don't, What? <sighs> This just really breaks my immersion. I strive for realism when I play these games. Now how am I supposed to feel like an ancient dragon slayer who has a magic ring to resist poison and breathe underwater and have armor made out of magical green glass and a sword that has flames on it? And then you have a chest underwater that has a lit torch in it. That's just not realistic! Bethesda really needs to step their game up because this stuff just doesn't make sense and really kills the vibe for me. I really hope you could detect my sarcasm. If you get worked up over a torch in a video game, maybe you should just call it quits. At number five, here's some logic that just really baffles me. You can cast spells of fire, and you can shoot words out of your mouth that can kill dragons. But then you can't open some doors in the game and in dungeons that are barred from the other side. I know it's a video game and you have to have some boundaries, but I mean, you know, come on. Is this that magical video game wood we were talking about? This wood that can resist the shouts of the dragonborn? Maybe it is, and if that's the case, I'd like to invest in some dragon wood right away, please. And it is easy to make fun of, but then if you think about it, if that door weren't locked, then you would have one less thing to keep you busy in this video game. And then where's the fun in that? But anyway, hooray for logical inconsistencies that don't really matter. At number four, here's some Skyrim logic that I am definitely guilty of. Myself personally, and I know you as well, you collect every single arrow that you ever find and you'd never end up even using them. And hey, my motto is in any RPG, if it weighs nothing, collect the hell out of it. Like butterfly wings or notes or some other quest item that doesn't count towards your encumbrance. Collecting stuff is fun and relaxing. Every Dovahkin needs a hobby. Oh, besides killing stuff and saving the world, that is. At number three, in the world of Skyrim, okay, what the hell is up with finding fresh food and produce in abandoned caves? In old rotten crates and barrels or creaky treasure chests, there's always a fresh apple to eat or some cheese or some wine. What the hell is up with that? I think that goes right up there with our underwater torches. I think the next Elder Scrolls game should have a food poisoning element, where you should really pay attention if you're eating tomatoes off of the ground of a hundred year old dungeon. Because if you want realism, that will give you realism. Oh, you ate a thousand year old potato, plus two HP, and you're poisoned for three hours. Good job, idiot. Maybe you shouldn't eat everything you find off the ground or in an old crate. 
Didn't your mother ever teach you anything? At number two in Skyrim, you kind of have the option to pickpocket a ghost, because of course you can. Yes, if you guys ever notice creeping around a ghost if your stealth skill was really high, the pickpocketing prompt actually shows up when you're near a ghost. Of course, most of the time clicking on that doesn't really do anything or you get an empty inventory, but with the right stealth and pickpocketing skills and perks, you can see their armor and weapons, because again, Skyrim. Of course you can. And I mean, hey, in Skyrim, since you can technically almost pickpocket a ghost, you can also stealth attack kill ghosts. Have you guys ever done that? Sneaking up behind a ghost and slitting their throats? Because yeah, that's how you kill a ghost. Isn't that how the Ghostbusters do it? Good old Venkman sneaks up behind a ghost and cuts his neck. Yeah, we love you, Skyrim. And at number one, the silliest bit of Skyrim logic is the fact that you are the legendary dragonborn Dovahkiin who has saved the world and is capable of slaying dragons across the land. And for some reason, everyone in town wants to fuck with you, mug you, or kill you. It's just so dumb. Why would they want to do that? I mean, I mean, really? Like, everybody knows who you are. You are known throughout the land as the person who has saved the world from the dragons. You've killed a ton of them. You have a flaming sword, maxed out skills, epic armor. You have a magical horse that can walk up mountains and you can kill a dragon just by yelling at it. So really, is some street urchin or random raider out in the woods really gonna try and take your money? And it happens like every 10 minutes. You think word would travel fast and some people would learn, but this is Skyrim we're talking about, where everyone is apparently stupid. So guys, those were some bits of Skyrim concepts that just don't make any sense. Like we said, we love Skyrim so much, but we just like to poke fun at it. We play this game so much that it's hard not to point out some of its flaws and have a good laugh at an otherwise perfect and amazing game. So we're putting this video out there because we want to know from you guys in the comments, what silly things about Skyrim bother you the most? Does some of the game's logic work to your advantage or just not make sense at all? Let's talk about it. And if you had a good time and maybe got a chuckle from this video, click the like button because it really helps us out. It's kind of like giving us a tip. And if you're new, subscribing is the best thing you can do because we put out videos every single day. That's right, every day. But thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.